everyone takes away different things from the month of Ramadan. And here are three things I plan to integrate into my psyche. And no, you don't need to be a Muslim to think about these things. Number one, your job is not your most important responsibility. And I know a lot of you are going, no, I don't prioritize my job above everything else. And you do. And this is a reminder to not do that. When you're hungry, thirsty, and sleep deprived during Ramadan, your first instinct is to attend to those needs so that you do a better job at your job. But what Ramadan reminds me is what's more important for me is my spiritual center. And that may have different definitions depending on who you are. Number two, it is extremely important for you to be an empathetic individual and you can't practice empathy without thinking of the less fortunate. For example, as you experience a tiny, 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 insignificant fraction of the hunger and thirst that the children in Gaza are experiencing, you are forced to empathize with them and remember them in your experience. And I know for a fact that people fasting all over the world this month are going to have a very special place for the Palestinian people in their hearts. And number three, abstaining from food, drink, and other indulgences forces you to have a dopamine reset, which does wonders for your focus and sense of purpose. 